In this video, we will explore ARE 5.0 case studies, including what you'll see as part of a case study, the tools available, and tips for navigating a case study. Case studies are based on real-world architectural projects and firm scenarios. You'll see two case studies each time you take an ARE 5.0 division. Every case study will include a scenario and a set of related resource documents. You'll be asked a series of questions about the scenario, giving you an opportunity to analyze multiple pieces of information and demonstrate your ability to make evaluative judgments. In each ARE 5.0 practice exam, you will find two sample case studies. Practice them to become more familiar with the case study format you will see when testing. As part of each case study question, also called an item, you will see a series of tabs along the top of your screen. These tabs will take you to various resources for the case study. The first tab you'll see is the scenario, which provides a description of the project or firm profile, additional important pieces of information, and a list of the resources available. The remaining tabs will correspond to that list of resources. You will need to use and understand the provided resources to answer the case study questions. Each case study will have its own set of resources. For example, a case study in project management may include a contract. A case study in programming and analysis may include a building program. The case study resources do not change from question to question. You may choose to spend time becoming familiar with all resources and then answering the questions. Or you may choose to search through the resources based on what each question is asking. Whichever approach you use, remember that you won't need to read every word of every resource. If you attempt to do this, you may run out of time. The resource documents for each case study are displayed as PDFs. Time has been built into the exam so you can familiarize yourself with these documents before answering the related items. There are several tools you can use to make navigating resources easier. These include the keyword search function, which allows you to type a word or words and then navigate to the areas that include it. The bookmark and table of contents tool will also help you navigate through longer resources more efficiently. The zoom functions enable you to see the resources in detail. Below the case study resources, you will find the question that needs to be answered. Case study items can include all four ARE 5.0 item types. To learn more about each item type, watch our other ARE 5.0 videos. To answer each item, you will need to pull information from the case study. Sometimes you will need to refer to the information pulled from multiple resources. Remember, None of the questions associated with a case study will ask you to find a piece of information and copy it directly as the correct answer. The purpose of case studies is to assess a candidate's ability to synthesize multiple pieces of information to develop the correct answer. The screen will clearly indicate when you are on a question that is part of the case study. As you complete the case study, selecting the next button will take you to the next item that is part of the case study. When you reach the end of a case study, you will be notified that you have reached the end of the questions associated with that case study. Case studies are located at the end of each exam, but you can navigate to a case study at any point using the exam summary screen. Keep in mind, if you decide to take a break during your exam, you won't be able to return to any items seen prior to your break, including case study items. As long as there is at least one item left unseen in your case study following your break, you will still have access to all case study resources. Case study items do not build on each other, so you don't need to answer one item correctly in order to answer the next item. In addition, case study items are scored individually and worth one point each, just like all other items on your exam. To recap, remember, you'll need to understand and analyze multiple pieces of information to complete a case study. Each case study includes its own set of resources. Don't try to read every word of every resource. Use the search functionality and other tools available to easily navigate through the resources. Each case study item is worth one point. Comments? Questions? Let us know. Be sure to check out the ARE 5.0 community for expert advice and tips from fellow candidates. And for more information about the content covered in each division and tips on navigating the exam interface, please watch our other ARE 5.0 test prep videos.